as I tease you. Welcome everyone. As you uh, are joining us, we're talking about uh, what we're having for dinner tonight. So uh, I hope wherever you are, Monday. whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Throwback Monday. We used to use that as a cover for me trying to get us up and online. <laughs> so welcome to evening prayer, wherever you are, whenever you are. If you are watching live on Facebook, please, uh, if you have intercessions or thanksgivings you'd like to share, add them to the comment box and we will pray them at the appropriate point of the office. If you are watching later on both Facebook or YouTube, also please add your comments to the, face, uh, to the comment box and we will catch those prayers up at our next office tomorrow morning. So for now, we have evening prayer in the first week in Lent. Let my prayer be set forth in thy sight as the incense, and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare thou those who confess their faults. Restore thou those who are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto humankind, in Christ Jesus our Lord, and grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant us absolution and remission of all our sins, to repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please join me for the invitatory. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light. We sing thy praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thou art worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our Psalm this evening is Psalm 44. I will lead with the odd verses. Please respond with the even. We have heard with our ears, O God, our ancestors have told us what deeds you performed in their days, in the days of old. You with your own hand drove out the nations, but them you planted. You afflicted the peoples, but them you set free. For not by their own sword did they win the land, nor did, they give, nor did their own arm give them victory. But your right hand and your arm and the light of your countenance, for you delighted in them. You are my king and my God. You command victories for Jacob. Through you, we push down our foes. Through your name, we tread down our assailants. For not in my bow do I trust, nor can my sword save me. But you have saved us from our foes and have put to confusion those who hate us. God, God we have boasted continually, and we will give thanks to your name forever. Yet you have rejected us and abased us and have not gone out with our enemies. You made us turn back, made us turn back from the foe, and our enemies have gotten spoil. You have made us like sheep for slaughter and have scattered us among the nations. You have sold your people for a trifle, demanding no high price for them. You have made us the taunt of our neighbors, 
the derision and scorn of those around us. You've made, you have us, made us a byword among the nations, a laughing stock among, the, among the peoples. All day long, my disgrace is before me, and shame has covered my face. At, at the words of the taunters and revilers, at the sight of the enemy and the avenger. avenger. All this has come upon us, yet we have not forgotten you or been false to your covenant. Our heart has not turned back, nor have our steps departed from your way. Yet you have broken us in the haunt of jackals and covered us with deep darkness. If we, if we had forgotten the name of our God or spread out our hands to a strange God. Would not God discover this? For he knows the secrets of the heart. Because of you, we are being killed all day long and accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Rouse yourself. Why do you sleep, O Lord? Awake. Do not cast us off forever. Why do you hide your face? Why do you forget your affliction and oppression? For we sink down to the dust. Our bodies cling to the ground. Rise, Rise up, up come, come to our help, redeem, redeem us, us for faith, the sake of your steadfast love. love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the Hebrews. For the one who sanctifies and those who are sanctified all have one Father. For this reason, Jesus is not ashamed to call them brothers and sisters, saying, I will proclaim your name to my brothers and sisters in the midst of the congregation. I will praise you. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, here am I and the children whom God has given me. Since, therefore, the children share flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared the same things so that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by the fear of death. For it is clear that he did not come to help angels, but the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every respect, so that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God, to make a sacrifice of atonement for the sins of the people. Because he himself was tested by what he suffered, he is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle, the Song of Mary, together. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm, he has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Mark. The beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophet Isaiah, see, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one, he, one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I'm not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. 
And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and his spirit descending like a dove on him. And, it, and a voice came from heaven. You are my son, the beloved. With you, I am well pleased. And the spirit immediately drove him out into the wilderness. He was in the wilderness 40 days, tempted by Satan. And he was with wild beasts and the angels waited on him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle, the song of Simeon together. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. <laughs> Pardon me. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. Endue thy ministers with righteousness. And make thy chosen people joyful. Thank you. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in thee can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under thy care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let thy way be known upon earth. Thy saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with the Holy Spirit. Almighty God, whose blessed Son was led by the Spirit to be tempted by Satan, come quickly to help us who were assaulted by many temptations. And as you know the weaknesses of each of us, let each one find you mighty to save through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we, being defended from the fear of all enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship thee, all nations obey thee, all tongues confess and bless thee, and men and women everywhere love thee and serve thee in peace, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. We pray for peace in Ukraine. We pray for those who are in harm's way. We pray for safety for all those who are seeking uh, 
travel to be uh, to be out of the war zone. We pray for those who are seeking a peaceful resolution. We pray for those who are providing comfort and care. We pray for those who are seeking medical treatment and for those who are awaiting tests. We pray for their caregivers. We pray for those who are struggling with mental and spiritual discomfort that they might find peace and ease. Oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth. That in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Please join me for the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost, be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and has promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth and the and in the world to and the world to come life everlasting amen let us bless the lord thanks, thanks be, to, be god. to god the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy ghost be with us all evermore amen amen well that concludes evening prayer i'm sorry for that that dry tickle that just caught my throat. And uh, I apologize for, for that. Thank you, Father, for getting me over the hump. And with that, that concludes our, our day of worship and our day of service. We, have, uh, we head off to our rest and we will be together again tomorrow morning for morning prayer and Allison's Cup Food Pantry and the shop at Spotswood and a bunch calls. of other things going on too meetings pastoral calls yep, meetings class, calls becoming an Episcopalian visits. and more so lots that's going right the, the first class in a very long time it's good to be uh good to be back in formation so blessed rest to everybody we will see you again soon wherever you are whenever you watch we are together it is good to be together if you're watching on YouTube, please consider liking and subscribing. Ring the bell for notifications so you know when new content is posted. And if you're on Facebook, if you follow us, you get a notification when we come live. So you can join us right away or catch us when it's convenient. So be well and uh, 
see you soon. Bye-bye. Aaron, God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.